Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007 and today we're looking at the Enchant GUI plugin. So as the name would suggest, this plugin allows you to easily get the different enchantments you want and you can allow players to buy them with either money or XP or just have them for free. So it's very easy to use, it's easy to set up and it's just a great simple plugin that you can add to your server. So first of all, we're going to look at how we would use it in game. So the way to do that is making sure you have obviously Vault and the plugin itself and then it should work perfectly. So if you do forward slash eShop that's going to open up the GUI, the Enchant GUI and it has a long list of all the different enchantments that we can get. So if we were to click on one randomly we will see the different levels of enchantments and each one will have a different cost. So if we look at power you can see power 1 is $100 and then if we go to power 10 that's $1000. Obviously, you can choose whatever price you want in the config file, but um, by standard, this is how it looks. So we have a lot of different powers. So if we were to click that while holding a sword, it's not going to work because we have that on false in the config file, uh, but you can allow people to enchant whatever block or item they want. However, if we use sharpness, that's going to work um, because obviously sharpness goes on swords. And if we look at our money, we only have $600 left. So if we go into the shop and see if we can find some cool enchantments for that, uh, let's go with, there isn't an enchantment six. So if you click the green button to go back, we can have a look and see what enchantments we want. So let's give it infinity one for the bow. And maybe let's look at the enchantments for the chest plate as well. Let's go for protection and then protection four, lovely jubbly. And finally the trident, which is obviously a new item to Minecraft. We can give that channeling. And there we go, we don't have any cash left. So that is how you would do it in-game. Um, as you can see, it's very straightforward. You just um, pay and then you get the enchantment. So if I were to give myself a lot of money, like $100,000, and we could go really crazy and just give ourselves every single enchantment that we wanted on the sword and make it really overpowered. And that would be pretty awesome in jewels and whatnot. So now that we've looked at that in game, we are going to go into the config file and see what we can do in there. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel and as you can see there are three files. So if we go into the shop.yml first, this is just going to list all the different enchantments that it supports. It's got the back item and the display name which you can obviously change if you want. So we could just write something random here like I don't know, server miner shop for example. And then down here it's got all of the enchantments and which item they go to. Um, so you don't really need to mess around with this at all. So if we go back now, we can look at the config.yml, which is the main file. So up at the top, we can change the menu name if you want. You can change the payment currency. So if you write disable, you won't have any currency. If you write XP, it's going to use XP. And if you write money, it's going to use money as the currency. And then we've got a couple of options here. So do you want it to ignore the item type and you can enchant, I don't know, some carrots or whatever you want? And do you want it to only show the enchantments that work for a particular item, yes or no? And do you want to right click an enchantment table and instead of getting the normal GUI, you get this one? Then if you look down here, you can see all the different levels and the costs. So as you can see, it goes up pretty uniformly, um, but you can obviously change this to your liking and just make it more expensive or whatever you want. And the localization file, uh, that just has um, pretty much nothing in. So that is the plugin, it's updated for the latest version of Minecraft as you can see on the Spigot page. If you want to download it, come over here and if you have any questions about it, make sure you contact the developer about that. Uh, it's got all the information and features and nice pictures down here that you can have a look at and obviously the permissions. Um, but that is everything uh, to do with the plugin. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me, subscribe, like, comment and I'll see you next time.